in jujitsu, when you when you're learning jujitsu, this good technique and proper technique to learn not to squeeze anybody. And the beginners do this. Okay, so say he passes my card and he gets around the weapons. And he gets here and I do this. This is very bad to learn jujitsu this way. Because what I did was I actually gave him the technique he wanted by pulling him in, right? Like this, okay? So go ahead, Adam. Adam's down. So sit, get sitting guard right here. Say I'm doing this. My goal is to get around his legs. So I get here and, and he feels danger, so he hugs me. Good hug. Me. Yeah. He, I just he just pulled me into where I want to be. But if you end up here in a fight or in a UFC match or MMA fight, it could be a good thing, right? Let's say this. Say Adam's down. There's 30 seconds left in the round. I mount him. This is a cage fight. Should Adam sit here or should he reach up and hug my body? Mm. Okay, reach Cold, up and hug. Reach up and hug. Right? Yeah, he's gonna reach up and go, no, no, bear hug me. Yeah, like this, tight. Good, it's gonna take me 15 seconds to break this lock, right? He's running the time down. Yeah, he's running the time down, okay? So for protecting yourself, that strategy is decent. Now, if you're really trying to get good at jiu-jitsu and make your career at jiu-jitsu, you wanna to learn to frame the guy and preemptively escape. But for self-defense, you wanna learn how to survive. So that's learning how to survive in these positions. So say he mounts me. Good jujitsu is I'm escaping before he does it or as he does it. Okay? But unless we're spending all our time training jujitsu, we've got to protect ourselves. If he's punching me, instead of being here, I'm going to reach up and I'm going to bear hug him and I'm going to hold him here. Now, it's going to take him a while to break that lock. See? And I keep, I stay with him like this. Okay? So Adam, go ahead down. So. I'm here. Adam's gonna sit up, he's gonna both arms, yeah. Grab your own wrist when you do it and point it up. Keep your head tight here. Now look, if my hands aren't down, he can break me down. So I can't punch him. See? See the bridge reset? Reset, relax, relax. Here, bear hug me again. Okay, grab a little higher. Now look, I can't, if I sit up without my hands on the mat, you punch him hard, watch what happens. He's here. So the hardest I can punch him would be with one hand, like this. That's the top of his head. It's not going to feel good for him, but it's not going to feel good for my hand either. Mm -hmm. Okay, now juxtapose that with this. Okay, so he reaches up, he's going to bear hug me right around the middle of the ribs. Go ahead, sit up. Okay, and he's going to cling to me. You don't need to squeeze tight, don't blow out your mm -hmm. muscles. Mm -hmm. Speak koala bear, okay? Mm -hmm. it means you're going to cling to me. Wherever I move, he closes that space, like that, okay? And you'll see how it's going to close that top end and keep their hands in the mat. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give that try. Ready? One, two, three.